Welcome back to Golden Sun Looting Adventure. I found the Orb of Force. That's a pretty high level item in D&D. &D. You have a sling to fire it with. I'm actually going to give that to... I'm going to leave it there for just a second. What does it do? I'll show you shortly. Yeah, it's... Yeah, he can hold on to it. Secret of Key shall be revealed to the disciples of truth. Or the people who can pick locks on this chest. I punch things from afar. Punch fist! <laughs> okay, so you can now cast fist. Yes, <laughs> I am now strength wizard. Boo! Uh... And for those of you who have noticed me avoiding very intentionally the purple things on the ground, that's because they're spikes and they hurt. I don't want to walk on them. That those are purple? Eh, maybe. I might be going colorblind because those look gray to me. They're this grayish is, purple. This is quite distressing. Is that is that all we came here for? That is all I came here for. Like I said, in and of itself, it doesn't do... We went through that big fuckling temple just for that? Yes. Okay. Mom. <laughs> Master Nyunpa. Yeah, him. He's waiting for you. Hopefully you can supply him with an easier to pronounce name. Why do you have a game ticket? The game tickets go to Garrett. Yeah, he's supposed to... He also be holds the, all the herbs. The carnival master. Eh, you can have the nuts. Yeah, she can. I mean, wait. <laughs> you can have the vials. Ew, those are gross. I don't want them. You have failed, Ivan! Yes! And then... That should be everyone healed, so synergy. Yay! And then Maya flies like an eagle <laughs> through the sky. No, through the sea. Shit. Fucked up the song. I fucked it up! Oh god! I'm so sorry, Steve Miller! <laughs> Anyone from that band is yes, listening mom. to this episode? Holy crap, this is awesome now. Yep. This is called Force. It's from a thing we like to call physics and <laughs> objective reality. What would happen if you let loose this energy in the forest? It would result in punching trees. Yes, Mom. That's how force works. Monsters that wait in hiding would show themselves because you punch the tree that they're waiting to ambush you in and then they fall out on their ass. Yes, Mom. Sometimes you must let go of your belief that punching trees solves problems. Punching trees only gets you wood. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go back sitting forever now. They programmed me as a monk so I can stay in this pose for as long as they need me to, and since you'll never come back, uh, I guess I'm all but good. I'm as good as dead. And it's a goblin. It's not a goblin. All right, it's a mogul. But I'm going to change up my synergy loadout momentarily. I punch a punch. tree. He jumps out. He shows me the way. Because this is one of those, if you go the wrong way, it just keeps circling back on itself kind of places. This is the way of tree punch dough. <laughs> oh, we have Bone Fighter! <coughs> bone Fighter! <laughs> I always face one of them every morning. <laughs> Sorry, was that in the wrong spirit of this channel? <laughs> 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 the anger that I am feeling right now <laughs> directed at me. 
Now, some of you may be asking why I chose not to punch that tree over there. There is a reason. That is not the correct tree to punch. If I punch it, I fight a monster. And I see there's a, there's a nut. Yes. I'm gonna catch the nut. Yoink! Isaac got a nut. Yes, he does. Isaac gave a nut to Ivan. That sounds pretty gay. And this is the tree I punch. <laughs> if I can angle myself correctly to punch the tree. Bang! <clears throat> oh no! I'm green! Dabba dee dabba die. Okay, there, there's moles on the screen. <laughs> yep. This is one of those points in the game where I feel like the random battles are just artificially lengthening this puzzle se sequence. Because Kinda. You have to follow the green monkey goblin mogul. He went. No, he I know went he did. Way. I know he did. Occasionally there is a treasure in the other direction. <laughs> and Occasionally I, the monkey lies. He doesn't lie. He tells you the way out of the out of the forest. He just doesn't tell you the way to get to the good stuff. Punch. He goes down. Ugh. Lots of bone fighters. Bone fighter. God, I'm having flashbacks to old ass cartoons. <laughs> So, uh, do you remember, um, Schnick? Ages ago, I. F you might have been four, so you probably don't remember, but uh, there was a cartoon broadcast on regular broadcast television called Skeleton Warriors. I don't remember that. Holy crap, this was some dark shit. A more different green monkey goes this way. <clears throat> so which monkey do you trust? One monkey shows me the treasure. The other monkey shows you the way. And there's there's food in it. It's a permanent stat increased uh, item. Holy shit, apples do that? Yep, and hard nuts do the same thing. Kinky. Um, so yeah, skeleton warriors. Um, the, like, the first episode starts off with this... Magitech kind of society, um, and there's a succession kerfuffle. The king is either retiring or dying or has just died, and his son is taking over the throne. His half child or bastard son or whatever is, is all grumpy and pissed off because super grump, and oh, I want to be king. No respect, I tell you, kind of, kind of deal. Gotcha. And then there's this this evil faction that preys on uh, dumbass half brother, bastard brother, and his complete and utter lust for power and acceptance. And they trick him into, I think, just releasing some kind of power that allows this faction to just become undead. Oh, they're, goody. they're skeletons. Just straight up. And uh, since the bastard brother I was kind I of like half assing it, he becomes half dead and he's a zombie. <laughs> half dead. And the thing is, like, these four people who get turned into skeletons are remarkable insofar as they destroy the entire civilization. <laughs> Like, the, the, the capital city is razed to the ground. It's now their ruined skeleton base. And it's also remarkable because it's the first Fuck time... you, you douchebag! He ran away? Yes. They do that? Sometimes they're dickweeds. Oh, that sucks. Are you going to have to leave and come back in order to get him? Yeah. Not the whole dungeon, just the screen. Oh. I figured. What a dumbass. He left the one that I was attacking and went into the one that wasn't. Fine. Death head! <laughs> you die from it. <laughs> but it's so good. good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I'm uncomfortable that we both went there. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a nut off of it. Oh, God! So uncomfortable. 
<laughs> anyway, yeah. So skeleton warriors, old cartoons. Yeah. Um, the evil faction, one of the main baddies, is a woman, and she gets undeadified on screen. So oh, technically, baby. it is the first time an American cartoon shows a woman die on screen. Huh. And I think it's possibly the only American cartoon to have ever done so. You know, technically. Yeah. We're, we're talking about cartoon undeath kind of things. But the terrifying thing about these four guys is that they build their army by killing other people. If you are killed by one of these skeleton warriors, congratulations! You're a, you're skeleton, a skeleton warrior. warrior! And you're just as evil as they are! And you like it! And it's awful! So, any good forces that- Fuck you, Gumger! You heard me! I am going to beat your ass, you stupid piece of shit. <laughs> he reminded me of the, the elves from Stonekeep. <laughs> he just had verbal tics for no goddamn reason because they had Rob Paulson on their team and goddamn it, they were going to use him. <laughs> that wasn't even Rob Paulson's character doing it, but jeez. I, I'm going to get so sidetracked just talking about skeleton warriors. Um, <laughs> but the, the thing about it is it took almost a season and a half for someone on the human team to figure out, wait a minute, these skeleton guys have like this gem on the back of their spine right behind their collarbone. If you reach up to their rib cage, that's where you can like actually touch it. And so... You run away again, you will, f you will regret it. <laughs> I will punch you in the ram. Cease. <laughs> I see what you did there. Good. You're not a chicken shit little fuck this time. Do something. <laughs> I summon Procne. Boom, 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 boom. Every now and then, I just fall apart. <laughs> so I was playing in a restaurant a couple of days ago. Nope, that's stuck in my head forever now, waiting to be used. <laughs> but yeah, season and a half, somebody just discovers, oh wait, there's this little gem on the, the ribs or somewhere. I'm going to get close enough to one of these motherfuckers and yank it out. <laughs> so I pull this evil gem out from behind the rib cage. Risking my own life to do so, and as I yank it out of the guy, he becomes human again. Huh. It's the only time that they've ever discovered how to actually how to un kill, undead someone. Yeah, to, to, to kill one of these skeleton warriors. And the guy has the riot act read to him, and I think he ends up actually dying in that very same episode, but now everybody's <laughs> just like, well, now we know how to get him back, but ugh. Gee. And it's the only it's the only way to permanently reduce one of the skeleton warriors. If you destroy them, mm -hmm. uh, more bones form around the gem. Oh, and the gem goody. is indestructible, as goody. far as I was aware. It's dark. Sounds like it. It, it is, and it was a Saturday morning cartoon. So if you <laughs> watch that, man, the weekend was a bad place. God. And just just. You, you watch that cartoon to make yourself call up all your friends and go, Hey guys, can we hang out? I need to cheer up. I need to not be alone <laughs> right now because I am this sad. Uh, so I didn't watch that very often because I did not have many friends. I can understand that feel. <laughs> what, the, the sad cartoons? Or the no, the not friends? having many friends. Yeah, that was... Uh, welcome to elementary uh... school. Running away. Oh shit! I can't jump towards the other tree. I cannot just jump back and forth forever between the two tree stumps. Yeah. As a monkey, I failed to think this through. Yep. Purple and green damage. Uh, I have a feeling one of these is going to be a fight. I just don't remember which one. That one. That one's a fight. Orange ones orange are angry. Monkey. Ape! It's Damn dirty ape. Orange ape. 
No, I'm sorry, the dirty apes are later. Really? That's the name of a different enemy? Yes. Oh my god. It's a recolor of the ape here, and it's the dirty ape. What, what color is, is the dirty ape? I think they're greenish. So the dirty apes are actually leading you out of here. It's a different shade of green. Get me out of here, you damn dirty ape! You go that way. I believe you're gonna go left. Yep. Well, we'll decide which way to go next time. Bye, everybody! Bye! Suspense! Yeah, I think you already know where we're going. <laughs>